hi hello everyone welcome again to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share uh, another lesson another video on the jira series so this is going to be third in the same series so i'm going to show like how we can take an export in jira uh, for the sprint backlog so basically how we can export our sprint backlog in jira so that will be the kind of like topic for today so let us start so uh, this is the sample project I am sharing. This is Scrum Test 1, the name of the project, and it is uh, company managed, Jira managed. And if I show you some of the settings of this project, so I have clicked on settings. If I click on summary, so you guys can see that you know these are the work item types currently available in this Jira project. We have a bug, we have epic, we have a story, we have a subtask to be created under a story, and we have a task as well. Let's go back to the project so if i show you guys the current backlog so this backlog which consists of six issues this is our product backlog as of as of today so we have some set of user stories and i can always bring the mouse here and it will show me okay this particular icon uh, is a user story right and uh, so we have user profile and these labels are the epic so user profile user story is part of user management epic similarly we have forgot password user story which is part of the user management epic and then we have another epic by the name environment setup and there is a story in it queue environment setup then we have uh, another epic online payments and uh, there are some set of user stories like payment using credit card payment using debit card and payment using net banking so these are six work items or six set of user stories which are we can say they are part of the product backlog because they are not tagged with any of the sprint and this is the sprint uh, which we have defined uh, scrum one sprint one scrum one is the name of the project and then scrum one sprint one becomes our sprint name and it is started on 16th october it will end on 27th of october so this is more like a placeholder state though i haven't yet started the sprint because i wanted to show uh, you know some uh, other thing as part of this particular project and uh, we can see currently there are three user stories as part of this particular sprint we have user login we have forgot username and then we have build dev at the moment this number that we see these are the story points that we have estimated so for user login we have five story points for forgot username we have three user story points for build dev environment which is part of the environment setup and we have another three story points so if you want to see how much work we have planned in this in a particular sprint in jira so we can always look at this number so this becomes like five and three and three so three user story six and five eleven so this is denoting our total work in terms of story points now another thing that we can see is like do we have any task created as part of uh, this user story so if i click on the user login so you can see that there are some set of subtasks which are created as part of user login user story so we have uh, these tasks like login ui page so, and we can clearly see there are five tasks as part of user login if i click on forgot username uh, we are having four tasks and if i click on build dev environment so it currently doesn't have any subtask created so basically what i wanted to show like how many uh, user stories and how many tasks we have so we have three user story plus we have nine like five tasks were under user login four tasks were under you forgot username so that means five and four is equal to nine so nine subtask and three user story that becomes 12. now let's see that how we can take an export of these items uh, in Jira. So what we will do is if I uh, we can always use this left navigator. So we see uh, issues here. So what we can do is we can click on a new tab. So this will open the issues in a new tab. So basically this is kind of a JQL like in Java we can define uh, our own query which is called Java, uh, Jira query language. So there are there's a proper syntax that we have to follow and uh, this is currently listing okay what is what all items we have have as part of the scrum one project since i already have a uh, filter defined so what i will do is if i go to the filters i can always select okay this is my filter defined okay so this is our kind of a query that i have designed for a particular sprint and how to take its uh, export so basically what we are telling to this query is like give me the data where project's name is scrum test one sprint name is scrum one sprint one and it is ordered by rank in the ascending order uh from top to uh, bottom 
so these are the uh, so it is it is listing the 12 items and we already checked here like you know we had three user story and we have nine tasks so this is this is what this query is listing and uh, one of the thing that we can do is you know when we have to take an export we can always define the columns that we want to take an export so let's say uh, we want resolution okay so we can just simply select okay so this will you know specify that particular column here and if we do not want any column let's say we do not want the resolution so we can just uncheck it so this will be gone and also we can do the shuffling we can we can have the created uh, being the last column or we can we can place it you know just next to the updated So this is created and this is updated. So let's say we are fine with the columns and uh, we have also verified, okay, this is looks good. So what we can do is in order to take an export, all we have to do is we have to click on export and either we can export in a CSV format, like we can say CSV with all the fields. That means, you know, all the available Jira fields will get exported. If you want to apply CSV with the filter field, that means, you know, the column that we have selected on the screen that will be uh, exported so what we want to do is we want to take an export in Excel with a filter fields so if I click on this one so this has exported the CSV file and if I open this one so this shows us the information and you can see that you know we have a count of 12 so that means you know we had three stories so you know the one two and three three stories and nine tasks. We had five subtasks as part of very first story. We have four subtasks. So this could be uh, handy in a situation where, you know, we want to share our spin backlog with some other members who may not have access, or maybe we want to kind of like share with some other team who wants to look at, you know, uh, how we are managing our sprint. So this is the information that has been exported and these are our filter columns like it has created date, it has updated days and uh, this remaining is the uh, remaining estimate for the subtasks because we are estimating a story in the story points and the subtasks are getting estimated in days. So in Jira whenever we take an export it exports them in the seconds so we can convert them into the hours as well. Okay so uh, if I can show you guys I mean if we go back and if I click on user login, if I can show you login UI page, one of the tasks, so this has been estimated as one day. So again, I mean, if we go back, so this is our login UI. So what we can do is if I, I can simply create a formula here and divide it by 3600 so that, you know, this seconds are getting converted into the hours so we can say estimate and this okay so this is how we can take an export of the user story and we can you know uh, ex take an export of the uh, child items as well and uh, another thing that i wanted to show you guys was uh, this particular board so here uh, you guys can see that you know we had three user story and if i try to pull another user story from product backlog back to the sprint backlog so you can see that you know we have placed five story point of a user story so now it has become the total story points has become five three and three earlier it was 11 now it has become 16 right and if i again show you guys because now there is one more user story and if you want to take a you know again check our query so now it is showing 13 right so that means you know the query is fine it's working and we already have you know four user story and we had nine tasks so nine and four becomes 13. So that was kind of a brief and we can always save this query like we can always save if you want to save it by another name let's say uh we can say backlog export so this the saved query will come here okay if you want to make it like a start so we can say like you know this is our start query so this this will come here in the start listing so we can always select you know this is our backlog export query 
so this was kind of a brief about today's video i hope you guys liked it and if you are new to this channel please share and subscribe because that will definitely motivate me to continuously share more uh, videos on agile processes agile tools as well as you know some new topics as well thank you so much here thank you for watching